So we're just at a window installation stage. We've got two bottom drains and a window to glue in. Uh, we've cut, we've used a piece of chalk to mark the out, outer most area of the glass. Uh, made sure that we've left a nice big area. You can see the customers then built bricks as well, so we've got plenty of room. Now what we're going to do, clean the glass, do a nice thick bleed to seal it all the way around here, all the way down the bottom. And then you start in the middle and work your way out, and then you don't work yourself into a crease in one corner. And then that's as simple as it is. You basically just push it on. I'll show you when I get to the, that stage, and it will just bond to the glass. I know a lot of people don't believe it will, but we've done plenty of windows this way now, and we've never had any issues. Whereas the old way of having glass and then liner and then the block work, we have had issues in the past with the corners and things. So I got a bit ahead of myself again, I forgot to uh, show you. So what we've done, he's not pressed it all the way on yet, but you can see we've put a line of sealant around about here all the way around. And now we just go around until you can see it pushing out all the way. And then you know you've got a good bead. Now we've done like a centimetre thick bead of sealant just like we did on the old style. So it's working all the way in now, I can still feel it. There's enough to push all the way through. But the MS Polymer sets best when it's got a few mil, you don't want to push it completely flat. And if you need to add more sealant, then it's easy enough to do. But yeah, you just keep pushing it so you see the sealant, and then you know that's going to be watertight all the way around. Dead easy. And like I said, we've never had an issue this way. So I don't see any point in, in carrying on doing the old way. Yeah, it can, can be done nice and neat. When you get to the bottom, normally you get a little crease somewhere, but you just work left and right of it, and then the crease disappears. But this, as you can see, that is MS Polymer as well. So we glued the window in on Thursday last week. It's Monday now. The window's still there. So you can bond the glass directly to block work without any issues. I'm sure you can get the gist of what I'm going to carry on doing for the rest of it. So I'll show you the finished product. So there we go, window fitted. That chart just rubs off as well, it's not dangerous to the fish or anything. That'll eventually just wipe off. When the sealant's gone off, we'll give it a wipe down so it looks better. Uh, drains have been all glued in as well. Bit of water down there to pump out for next time we'll come back and finish. Pulling the filter in. Made one mistake on the pipe work with the filter, which means we had to redo a whole section. We just glued one bit in, get, got a bit complacent. It was that bit over there. We've sorted it now though. So next time it'll all be all be done and plumbed in. Skim is all done. It's not glued on yet, but that can be done easy enough. Got the built-in overflow as well. Just show you. So as a skimmer, you got your one-inch overflow pipe there. You can set it to whatever height you want. A four-inch pipe going down there through that gate valve into the bottom one over there. So yeah, nice and easy to use. Just show you the box weld liner. It's a bit of a, a kind of curve so it started up here and he's gone down by about 10-15 centimetres to the centre so the bottom drains are at the middle so there are going to be a couple of little creases but nothing major that's a bit poofy there but once the water's push, pushing up against it that'll be absolutely fine you go in the corners once we've got water in the bottom then we can pull up get the walls looking better it'll take a good while to fill this up he's actually got a boat on his um on his driveway and his boat would fit in this pond <laughs> so it's a bit of a big one it's going to be about 20,000 litres in total